Hey guys, it's Micah, and I just wanted to do a quick team video, um, just kind of to kick off the summer. I know we've kind of been in the summer for a little bit, but I'm seeing um, and hearing some things that I think um, can be addressed and maybe can um, help some people avoid some stumbling blocks along the way these next few months. So summer sometimes is you you get both sides. You get some people take their business to the next level because they take this extra time and they see it as I have this time off or I have this extra time or whatever, however it may be with your schedule. My kids aren't in school, so I'm gonna figure it out, whatever. They take it and they use it to up the ante on their business and it blows up and in the fall they they reap the rewards of that of their hard work and then you have the other extreme where you have the people that say oh well i'm a mom and now my kids are at home all day and i'm just busy and i just can't fit it in um so i'm just going to take a break for a few months and then i'll get back at it when the kids are in school and then they see their businesses slowly decline because it is so much harder to climb out of a hole than it is to just stay consistent and to stay steady with growth. So I'm gonna challenge you to take a second and make a game plan for what you're gonna do this summer with your health, with your fitness and your nutrition, um, all of that personally and with your business. Um, you have the choice to go one of two ways in both directions. Summertime, that's when everyone wants to look good, feel good, be confident, but that's when people slack off. They, they don't wanna be in the gym, they wanna be outside having fun, they skip their workouts, they start eating um, more frozen treats and letting up on their nutrition and then they start feeling crappy so they don't wanna work out and it's just a vicious cycle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this and I love it, this quote so much. Don't be upset with the results you get um, because of the work you didn't do. Is that even the quote? I don't even know. I know what it means, but I don't know what the real quote is. Don't be upset with the results you get because of the work you didn't do. Something like that. Um, so be real, be realistic with what you're going to do this summer, how you're going to, um, grab hold of whatever goals you have set for yourself. I obviously I'm just over six months pregnant. I've like let my nutrition just loosen up. Like I definitely lived it up for a couple months and was enjoying lots of treats and lots of bread and lots of um, things that my body wasn't used to eating as much of. So I can't be mad at these new little love handles that are starting to grow. I can't blame it on the workouts because I've been working out my whole pregnancy. I have been consistently consistent with my workouts, but my nutrition has gone like this. So am I going to blame Shanti or am I going to blame Shalene and tell them that their programs don't work? No, it's not their programs. Their workouts are great, but it's a combination of fitness and nutrition that get you results. So be realistic with your business goals. You have the formulas, you have the resources, you have everything that works in the new coach training, in the Emerald to Diamond training, on YouTube, in the back office, um, in the national wake up calls. You have so many golden nuggets that just throw information of this is what works, this is what I do, this is how I failed, this is what I've learned from it. It's out there. And let me reiterate, the new coach training. If you have not done the new coach training, do it. I don't care if you've been a coach for two years. I don't care if you just joined. That is essential. And Tara and I seriously have revamped it over and over and over with the things that we feel we've learned along the way and are so essential to a successful business. You don't have to know everything. You just have to do the key fundamental things consistently. And it's simple. When I was a new coach, I didn't know what I was doing, but I knew how to work out. I knew how to share about what I was doing. And 
I, just, I knew how to help people with challenge packs. That's all I focused on, was helping people get hooked up with an awesome challenge pack so that they can get results that I was getting. I didn't know anything about the business. You don't need to know everything. You don't even know, need to know hardly anything um, for a long time because you just go off selling challenge packs, helping your people. If they want to do the same thing as you, you convert them to coaching, you help them get started doing the same thing that you're doing, helping people with challenge packs. It honestly is that simple. So I'm going to challenge every single one of you who has not gone through the new coach training to do that and to do it legitimately learning and implementing and being a sponge and um, actually applying it, not just whizzing through it just to say, oh, I've done it. Because it's there and the information's there and it works. So don't blame the new coach training. Don't blame the business if you can't get it to work. The business works if you're willing to put in the work that it takes to make it work. So, um, yeah, just kind of check yourself. See where you're at, see how you're, how you're doing, see where you're headed. And if it's a good direction, then awesome. If you're um, seeing a downfall or steady decline in your business, then do what it takes to get back on track and to, and to hit the goals that you've set for yourself. Because this business is whatever you make of it. And I'm excited. So many of you are fired up and are just killing it. And I love seeing all the new coaches coming into our team and getting plugged in. Um, make sure that you plug in your new coaches because you don't want them to miss out on all the resources that are in the team page and everything that everyone else has to offer. So don't like seclude them and try and take them under your wing and um, make sure that they're embraced and that they're part of our little family because that's what's so cool about um, the culture of our team. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, we've got a little less than two weeks left in June. That is so much time to help at least three people. Guys, Success Club is essential. If you are working the business, you need to hit Success Club. Plain and simple. That is what the business is built around. That is what lets you know that you're helping the, a certain amount of people each month the right way. Um, and that is what will continually help your business grow because those people are going to have awesome results in their challenge. They're going to want to help their friends and the wave just goes on and on and on and it's the ripple effect, but it all starts in your challenges. So hit success club, do what it takes, talk to more people, promote your groups, share your story and your journey and what you're doing so that you can build the credibility and trust with people and they know what you're doing. And um, let's make it happen. Okay, let's finish this month strong. I will talk to you later. See you guys.